Hello everyone, welcome back to The Book Brood. Today we're going to be talking about Luck in the Shadows by Lynn Flueling. Hi kitty. And this is a book that I've wanted to pick up for years, but I finally got the chance and in the, in the final push to do it because Chris from Chris Bookish Cauldron is hosting a, I think it's a 10 month long read along through the entire series and I was so excited to participate. So Luck in the Shadows is a story about Alec of Kerry and he is a 16 year old boy who is swept up into an adventure with a man named Saragol. And a quote off the back of the book which I really enjoyed is talking about Saragol says Spy, rogue, thief, noble. Saragol of Rimini is many things, none of them predictable. I really enjoyed the feeling of this book. Uh, you really feel like you are being swept up into the adventure along with Alec, um, learning about the world and, and, and everything about it. Because it's the first book and the world is pretty big and complex, it, the author does have to do a few info dumps, which feel to me like, and I'm not sure if, you know, this is the first one I've read, but I feel like as the series goes on, there's going to be less of those because this did feel like establishing a world. One thing that made me a little bit uncomfortable about this book was that Saragol is told by an oracle that he and Alec are going to be lovers. But for the first book, Saragol is a mentor to teenage Alec. And it just, I don't know, nothing, nothing inappropriate happened in this one. But it just kind of gave me a little, oh no, is it going to go uncomfortable places? Um, but it did not. So. so I've been wanting to pick up this series for a long time. It really, it checks a bunch of boxes for me. Uh, female author, LGBT plus representation, sex positive world, uh, strong female characters, and it feels like 50-50% um, female characters, unlike some epic fantasies that just throw in a princess here and there. <laughs> so I would recommend this series for anyone who is looking for more female authors who write epic fantasy. And also anyone looking for uh, strong warrior women characters. I really loved how this series sets it up as the queens of a part of this world are all warrior queens. And the lineage is passed on to their daughters, not their sons. And it sets up this this whole culture around the queen's guard and they're all women and they're all strong warriors and i really enjoyed that i'm looking forward to learning more about them i think we're going to learn more about them in book two i'm very excited to continue on with the series and if you are interested please go check out chris's channel and join in in the scala along okay thanks everyone and i will talk to you later bye